Take a normal piece of paper, folding in half lengthways, fold in half again, using a ruler, cut off the end to make it a square. Make sure you cut off the open end. With the corner two folds, cut any shape you like. And then on the two folded edges, cut any shape you like. Finally, cut the open edge in a semi-circular shape. And then you can open up and then you can see amazing everything. You can make any shape you like. Good luck. Here, sheet of newspaper. You need a square. And the easiest way to make a square is to fold the paper in and make a triangle. And because it's got nice crisp edges, it gives you something to follow. So up you go. And as you can see, I'm not doing it particularly smartly. And there you have a square. Now I'm using newspaper because it's actually quite nice and fine. So when you crease it, you get a nice sharp crease and it doesn't make it too thick to fold. Now I'm going to fold this like that so that's one fold two folds if I was doing this for myself I'd probably do three folds but it's easier for people to manage when they haven't done it before so this is a practice one so I'm just going to curve that off like that and that gives you roughly a nice sort of circular-ish type shape. It's all going to be cut up so it doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be perfect. Now, one thing which I can tell you is that if you use the two points as your starting point, if you do a nice swirly cut from the points, it will give you a nice swirly pattern and we'll do two simple cuts in there and then a couple of simple cuts like that and a little bit at the bottom. So, starting at the top, and it doesn't have to be perfect, and I drew it on first. If I was doing this myself, I probably wouldn't even bother to draw it on. I'd probably just do it freehand. And you can see that it's making quite an interesting shape. I'm gonna make that one go down a little bit further than I've drawn. None of this is perfectly drawn. As you can see, anybody could do this. And it can be considerably simpler if you want to, but if you want to get something that looks a bit special, you do have to put in a few curves. Because when we open it out, where the curves are, will give you some lovely dropped bits. nearly finished now most importantly if you do a little cut a couple of cuts at the point 
you will actually end up, I've kept that very, very simple, but you'll end up with rather a pretty center, which is nice as well. So let's sweep that out of the way. There's our cut out snowflake. And now if we open it out very carefully, There you go, and if we can get the camera right over the top there, you can see how interesting that is. And jolly good luck. Pop that in your window, look very Christmassy. Thank you.